So tell me how you like in Australia, Dale. Yeah, it's nice. A few too many kangaroos for my liking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, my, oh my God, I forgot to tell you. Ooh, tell me what? I got invited to Michael Jordan's birthday party in December. Get stuffed, no way. <laughs> what the hell did you just say to me? Whoa, what the hell, what's wrong? <laughs> you just told me to get stuffed. What's good, dog? Let's go right now, come on, I'm ready. I've been waiting my whole day for this. Mate, calm down, it's just a, it's just a figure of speech, as in like, Oh, no way that happened. Oh, I see. I'm not good enough to get invited to Michael Jordan's birthday party. Is that what you're saying? No. Is that what you're saying, huh? Mate. Oh, look at me. Old Dale could never get invited to such a cool and prestigious party, huh? No, he's just a tax attorney. He doesn't belong there. Is that what you're saying? Dale, stop. That's not what I... Oh, little old Dale. He could never catch a break. He only drives a 2008 Nissan Altima. He could... No, he could never get invited to Michael Jordan's party. Anybody but Dale. Dale, just stop. You, that's not what I meant. You have this all wrong. Oh, so I don't understand English now. Is that it? Oh, you really got it coming, Buster. Oh, I... Oh, oh, yeah. oh you're really lucky I don't have my Under Armour workout gear with me or I'd really show you the business. I'd show you who should be getting stuffed. Oi, Nate. I've got a date with, you know how I met the love of my life at Cloud9 last Wednesday? Yeah, I've got a date with her tonight. Do you reckon this kit's, give me some feedback, too much or not enough? What are we thinking? Damo, I'm not even kidding when I say this. That is legit the worst kit I've ever seen in ever in my entire life. Like, you're so cringe and embarrassing for actually putting that on, looking in your weird little mirror and going, this is all right. It's actually embarrassing and concerning that you actually thought that that was good enough to come up here and even ask my opinion on. Like, I can so clearly now see that this is the reason that Mindy cheated on you with Michaels, that dude from the Wodonga Raiders. And I was on your side with that and I gave him a pretty big spray, but I'm actually going to apologize to him after this conversation because she's so valid for cheating on you after seeing you in this state. Like, I, it, it makes complete sense. Not really. You know, I used to think that when everyone, literally every single person that we know would talk shit about you behind your back saying that you're a weird freak and a lot, of, a lot more worse things than that, that they were just haters. But the second that you stepped out wearing that and looking at me without, like, jokes in your eyes, thinking genuinely that that was all right, I can so clearly see that that is acceptable from those people. And I will absolutely be partaking in the future slander of your name behind your back. Like, I used to feel bad about you that your parents got divorced, but it's just so obviously your fault now that I'm seeing this side of you. Like, you need serious fucking help, and it's not coming from me, because I don't even want anyone to think that we're mates. I don't want anyone to think we're mates. Like, oh my God. Wow. Also, I fucked your missus. That's why you guys broke up and she never, we never told you. Uh, and I'm currently Snapchatting the chick that you're meeting up with tonight. I started doing it as soon as you met her and told me that she's your soulmate literally just to spite you. Also, you have no money and I fucked your mum. Yeah, right. So the kit's no good. Funhouse active. King of the palace. Rubber like Malcolm. Bought up fist in the air to the fast lit. 